Good day everyone. So we are through with our chapter 1 and we will now proceed with our chapter 2 which is about science, technology, and society and the human condition. So this chapter contains four lessons that will focus on the human flourishing in terms of science and the technology, technology as a way of revealing the good of life, and what will happen when technology and humanity cross. So for the lesson one, our learning outcomes are the following. So it is expected that you will define, you can define human flourishing, interview different people about human flourishing, differentiate the Western and Eastern philosophy about human flourishing, and cite the importance of human flourishing after finishing this lesson. So according to Aristotle, all the men and women are merely players. So meaning they have different roles in life. They have different roles in society. They have their exits and entrance. So meaning to say, one person may, uh, you may encounter one person in some part of your life and then, and in other parts of your life, another person will come into your life in a, in a particular moment only. And then, one man in his lifetime plays many parts. Okay? So, also according to him, every living creature is meant to become what it is meant to become. So, example of that, caterpillar will become a beautiful butterfly unless there is an external force or external factors that prevents that caterpillar to become a butterfly. Small seeds can become a fully grown herbs, bush, or tree unless the seed remains as a seed if it is not planted in the soil or it will not fully grown into a healthy herb, bush, or tree and if that seed is planted in a not so fertile soil. Likewise, human baby can grow into a mature person if the baby is supported well by the environment, the family, and then the community. So when we say flourishing, this is the highest good of human attempt to achieve his or her goal. Meaning to say, you as a person, your highest goal is to attain or to obtain or to experience flourishing. Or better life so that um, you can experience eudaimonia or good spirited so when we say eudaimonia the fulfillment of life so this is the big question that one of us or all of us cannot answer fully unless we're on our latent or end years or waning years of our lifespan so how will you achieve flourishing so if you are looking into someone who is flourishing right now, probably you have seen the best answer. But for your own good or for your own life, you will have a different perspective and answer for that question. Okay? So usually, this activity 1 is given in a class wherein I'm asking my students about what is happiness, their goals about their life, and then how can they achieve goals and who are the persons who will be, or uh, they need to, to approach or to ask help in order for them to, to achieve their goals. So, for the continuation, this is the, the actual activity that you are expected to do. And then, for Aristotle, uh, in order for a human to flourish, he needs to have several factors such as phronesis or the nourishment, friendship, wealth, and power. Among those four factors, each of them plays equal roles in the life of that person. If he misses one factor, such as wealth, he is having a, a promises, friendship, and power, but not with wealth. So that person 
may not fully achieve the eudaimonia or flourishing. And then, remember, as a human person, you have to have or you need to have a good and purposeful, purposeful or goal-directed life. Meaning to say, ngayon pa lang dapat alam mo na kung ano yung goal mo sa buhay. What is your purpose in life? Ganon. And then the goodness of one species can affect other species as well. As to their existence, as to their subsistence, as to their purpose in life. And then one more is the fundamental fact that human nature is the existence of human beings affected by their or is affected by their rational mind and their free will. So, lahat ng actions mo today or in the past may affect your existence. That is why you have to use your rational mind most of the time and your free will to decide the things around you. Another one is the proper function of every person is to live happily, successfully, and well. So, kadalasan yung mga matatanda in their waning years, they are actually not happy. Because probably they they did not uh, they don't experience wellness in life during their early years. They are not successful in their life. Or they are successful, they lived well, but they are not happy. Okay? That is why this is the pinaka target of human flourishing. Remember in eudaimonia. It is normal for a person to pursue his or her goodness or flourishing. So, natural sa atin na gusto natin yung best para sa atin. Unfortunately, your demonia or flourishing is affected by self-interest, wherein our self-interest is a moral agent if whether we will continue pursuing something if that something is best for us or good for us. Unfortunately, dito pumapasok ang egoism kung saan gusto natin yung best for us pero affected din yung existence ng ibang tao. Okay? And then, people found means to live more comfortably. However, as he pursues more comfortable life, and he wanted to explore places, develop more products, and make more money, nagkakaroon siya ng wanting for a better one, for a greater one, for a higher one. That is why nag-accumulate siya ng greed. Wherein, the former eudaimonia explanation of Aristotle is no longer similar to what eudaimonia of people living in our present time. So in here, nagkaroon tayo ng sophisticated machines in order for us to support, in order for human to support their endeavors toward better life. Example is the space exploration, medicine. So space exploration to find other livable habitat. And then medicine is to prolong or to continue nourishing the healthy life and then innovation example of innovation natin is the way we do things that are different years ago example is boiling of water so innovation affected those kind of activities and then also even we are dying now or even we're in the verge of death we're still wanting to live uh, some, uh, we need to leave a legacy for ad- our relatives, for our siblings and family members. That is why yung concept ni Aristotle that he perceived centuries ago is different since man right now is the man of the world. Meaning, he wanted to conquer world, to use things within the world in order for him to succeed in his uh, pursuit to flourishing life. 
And <clears throat> during the time of Aristotle, nagkaroon ng dalawang opposing um, ideas regarding the society and human flourishing. Wherein, sa Western, kung saan kasama si Aristotle, it focused on oneself alone, an individual alone. While for the East, it focused on community-centric, kung saan yung flourishing of one individual might affect the community. That is why you have to consider your community for the sake of himself. Kaya, nung panahon ng mga Kastila, mapapansin ninyo that people are really affected by what members of the society will say. Okay? So, this is our evaluation. So, you will write an essay telling me about what is human flourishing and the responses of one person that you will interview about human flourishing and paano ma-achieve yung human flourishing and then differentiate the philosophy of Eastern and Western ideas regarding Yudaimonia. That's it and good luck.